subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon, so you never miss any video from my channel. Yo! Welcome to Camera TV, make sure you like, subscribe, and share some cool with things like Facebook and Reddit and Instagram, and wherever else, guys. And, uh, guys, don't forget the bell notification, man. Hit the bell icon so you never miss a video. You know, I upload randomly, so definitely hit the bell icon, man. We see the squiggly lines. You know you have been notified. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, guys, there are people out here doing good work, man. And uh, there's a certain Panther player that's, uh, you know, doing some good work. I got to salute. You feel me? Got to get into that. Uh, another player that I was, you know, talking about before, you know, might have a possibility of playing. And another player has just got put on injury reserve, which sucks. But, got a lot to talk about. So, let's get started, y'all. So, Julius Peppers... Is donating a hundred thousand dollars to the Hurricane uh, Florence relief efforts. You know, Julius Pepper is a uh, you know a, a Carolina native. You know what I'm saying? He has family in North Carolina and all that stuff like that. So you know, he it really touched home for him. So he definitely is donating, which is it's a big move, man. Obviously, you know, uh, just in general, you know, Hurricane Florence did a lot of damage, um, and you know, obviously. Some people, you know, don't have the resources and the means to do, you know what I'm saying, to get what they need to get. So, Julius Peppers is stepping up and saying, hey, man, you know, this is my community. I want to rock with the community, man. And he's, he's putting his money where his mouth is, man. So, you got to salute that. He even kind of, you know, asked, but not really asked, you know. So, he kind of, you know, kind of implied or forced or, you know, put, put them in, in the spotlight. And his other teammates to, uh, you know, help out. He said he wants 100%, you know, contribution from the team. And, you know... I ain't gonna lie, bro. You gotta do it, man. If you play for the Carolina Panthers, man, you gotta look out for the Carolinas, man. So I expect the players to do the same. Julius Peppers, you know, obviously, like I said, it touched more home for him because, you know, he's a Carolina native. But, you know, definitely, you know, the Carolina Panthers, this is where you eat, this is where you play, this is where you make your money, this is where you live, most, most of y'all, you know what I'm saying? Um, you definitely gotta look out, man. You gotta look out for the Carolinas. So I, you know, I do salute Julius Peppers. It makes sense. You know, he's doing the right thing. And, um, Julius, man, you know, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a lovable giant. You know, a lot of people, you know, look at Julius Peppers and they think he's a, you know, a terror because obviously he plays DM. But he is a lovable giant, man. And, um, you know, I salute to, you know, Julius Peppers, salute to everybody in the Carolinas, you know, who are going through this whole, um, you know, rebuilding process. Obviously, living in Florida, I get the same thing, you know what I'm saying? So, um, but ours is not, you know, ours is a little bit more freaking. Usually it's not as bad. Um, you know, besides a few times. So, definitely, you know what I'm saying, shout out to everybody who's dealing with Hurricane Florence and shout out to Julius Peppers for, you know, manning up and helping out his community, man. So, we need more people like that, man. And I, the NFL tends to do a good job with, you know, helping out their communities. You know, I remember J.J. Watt, you know, did, did it for Texas and now Julius Peppers is doing it for Carolina. So, definitely, shout out to Julius Peppers and shout out to everybody that's going through this, you know, Hurricane Florence issue. And in other news, Dante Jackson might play on Sunday, man. And now, mind you, listen, I know I said I think Cornell just can do the job, and I had no problem doing um, Cornell, the, you know, guarding John Ross. Just, you know, obviously, if he gets beat on a double move, that would have been a problem for him. But I'm going to be honest with you, man. I'm happy about this, man, because I wanted the speedsters to go at it. Our fast cornerback versus their fast receiver, I thought it would be a really good matchup, man. I was looking forward to it. You know, obviously, the James Bradbury and A.J. Green is going to be a great matchup anyways. But I want to see that matchup, man. I thought it would be pretty cool, and um, hopefully he can go, man. Uh, I don't want him to go if he, he does have a um, you know nagging injury. It was a hamstring injury, so those could be kind of funny. But he did practice, so you know it looks like he might be good, man. Um, also, Greg Olson, man, looking like he might you know he might make a, a full recovery, man. They say he he, he he they think he's eyeing you know in the New York Giants game because he's walking around, no walking boot, he's not limping or nothing. And, you know, he's on the field a little bit, you know, working on the side and doing his thing, man. So, I ain't going to lie, bro. You know, he might he might, he might, might surprise everybody to come back real early from this injury. But, you know, like I said before, man, I really don't like, you know, that, you know, he didn't get the surgery. Because, I'm going to be honest with you, man. I really don't want him to re-break the foot and just, you know, break it even worse and then have him out for longer. So, that's why I feel. That's how I feel about it, man. But, um, you know, if he feels good. You know, what can I say, man? I can't tell a person how to, you know, rectify or, you know, um, deal with their body. If he feels like his body can go, he's good, man. But hopefully Dante Jackson, you know, is on the field. Hopefully John Ross and Dante Jackson get to line up against each other. I'm going to be honest with you, man. I want, you know, them to play man coverage. Play man, man. Get in the man's chest. 
You know what I'm saying? Because I think that would be interesting. Uh, I don't think John Ross could you know, be, you know, well, he probably could bomb Dante Jackson, but I think Dante Jackson got to just be prepared for the double moves. Because I ain't gonna lie, in training camp, he get hit with a double move a lot. Like, he be, they be hit with a uh, uh real quick, and he's out of there. You know what I'm saying? So, just be prepared for the double move, man. I think it'd be fun. But I can't wait to see that matchup, man. Hopefully, he can go. So, And in other news, the Carolina Panthers had to put Denoris Cersei on IR. And the reason being is because he had two concussions in the past 30 days. And they was like, that's not a good thing. And he had concussion issues before. So, he put him on IR, I guess, to rest up and get his mind right. And hopefully, and, you know, we don't know if... You know, he's going to return or not, but he's definitely on IR. Usually on IR to come back. But I think, you know, you're going to bring back like two players, and that will probably be Matt Khalil and um, Dale Williams. We'll see how that whole thing plays out. Um, but this is what I was talking about, man. Um, I was, you know, you know, I hate to say I told you so, but when I first, you know, obviously you can't plan for injuries. And I didn't think the North Cersei wasn't, you know, wasn't going to be on the field. I didn't say that. But I did say I didn't think he was going to live up to the billing. I didn't necessarily like the signing, in my opinion. And, um, you know, obviously now he's on IR, you know, and has this whole concussion issue, which, I mean, concussions, man, are serious business, man. Obviously, you know, if he's having this whole concussion issue, man, I'd rather him, you know, handle that, you know, and it, like, because that CTE, man, is, is no joke. Concussions are really, a, you know, a serious thing, man. Head injuries are really a serious thing, and we see the NFL taking it more seriously now. Uh, so definitely, you know, get himself right. Hopefully, you know, him and his family are good. I'm not casting any aspersions on him. I just didn't necessarily like to sign it for our team, especially because, like I've said before, Eric Reed is out there, and I think Eric Reed would have been a way better, um, you know, fit for our team and just fit for most teams, to be honest with you. And, again, I had to revisit the idea that Eric Reed should be signed by the Panthers, and especially, you know, by putting some out IR, you open up a roster spot. I think Eric Reed should be filling in that roster spot, man. If I was the Panthers and I feel like we have a good team, I would go for broke. And, and this is the thing, man. This is, this is how I feel about this stuff, man. Because we see teams like the Rams go for broke. They're trading everything. They're trying to get you know a team, a Super Bowl team together and ready so they can win a Super Bowl. I understand that. The Panthers have a pretty good team. We have a pretty good front seven. Even though people are you know you know bashing our run game, I'm not I'm not afraid of our run game at all. I think our run game is gonna be perfectly fine. You know what I'm saying? It just it kind of got you know messed up because of the Atlanta game where you know Ito Smith and Telvin Coleman ran like crazy. But for the most, the first game against Zeke Elliott, they played pretty good. So I'm not worried about a run game. Our secondary looks like it could be pretty good, man. Uh, James Bradbury looking, you know, he played really well against Julio Jones. We'll see how he does against AJ Green, Dante Jackson. Yeah, he was getting, he got beat a little bit by Calvin Ridley, but I think he wasn't, you know, what I'm saying it wasn't like egregious. You know, what I'm saying it wasn't like he was getting beat like a drum. I think he had, he did some good things and some bad things. He's a rookie, he's expected. But my thing is. We our defense is pretty top notch. Now imagine if we sign or Eric Reed and then trade for Earl Thomas, or you know what I'm saying, or just sign Eric Reed and just let him to teach and, and tutelize, you know, Rashard Golden. Because somebody in my comment section constantly say stop saying Golden, Golden. You know, you know, teach him, take him under his wing. You feel me? And get him right. You know what I'm saying? I think our secondary will be really good. You know, like I said, Mac Adams. I'm not. I'm not. You know. I don't really like a 37-year-old safety. But, like I said, Eric Reed would definitely improve the secondary. You could put Mike Adams in the box. You can make Eric Reed roam. You know, I think it would just be a better idea, man. But most likely it's not going to happen. I'm going to keep on preaching it because, to be honest with you, man, it's the smartest move to make. And I just look at the smartest move. Now, you know, everything, you know, there's all the politics behind it and all the, you know, other stuff. I'm not even going to get into that. But I just think as a football move, this is the smartest move to make. He's the best safety, uh, you know, available, and we need a safety, man. We definitely need a safety. So, Eric Reed, y'all Panthers, man, pick up the phone, call the man, get him in, in practice, man. I'm pretty sure you can acclimate to the system really quickly, especially by week coming up. Call the man, man. Get him in now so you can have, like, two weeks to acclimate to the system, man, and actually, you know what I'm saying, be able to impact the game for us because I think he'll be really good for us. Another thing I want to address is that Marty Herney's he had three big acquisitions, really. The Ontario Poe, Denora Cersei, and Ross Cockrell. Two out of three acquisitions, you know, one's out for the season and one's on IR. Those weren't good signings. Now, mind you, obviously, I know injuries happen. I'm not, you know, I'm not making it seem like, you know, he knew this was going to happen. Obviously, he did, man. 
but I've been on record, you know, when these happen, I didn't like the signings in the first place. I've been consistent with it. I said I'd, I'd rather rather us get the, um, Dominic Rogers Camardi as a cornerback or Bashar Breeland. Obviously, Bashar Breeland, I understand that he has, uh, you know, the foot injury, whatever thing. I understand it. So I said, let's go get DRC. We didn't go get him. We get Ross Cockrell, and, you know, he breaks his leg, which obviously is unfortunate. I'm not blaming him. I'm not blaming, you know, and I'm not blaming Martin Honey. I'm just saying that that, you know, pick or signing did not work for us. And now the Norris Cersei is having these concussion issues. That signing is not necessarily working for us. And I think that signing should have been Eric Reed. So these are two people I, I would prefer to have gotten signed that didn't get signed. And we went with, uh, you know, another way and those didn't pan out. Now, at the end of the day, man, we're not trying to, you know, you know, cast aspersions on anybody and whatever. Injuries happen. But as a general manager, man, you got to take responsibility for what happens. That, that is what it is as far as the signing situation goes. And those signings did not pan out. Tory Smith doesn't look, really look like he's panning out either. Just being honest with you. So, I don't know, man. Marty Herney, bro, that free agency that looked pretty good in the beginning is not looking so good, man. So, Marty Herney, bro, this is the time to bring in some players and do some splash stuff that will turn the tide as far as the way your, your, your free agency signing look. So, definitely get on those phones, man. Get us a safety, bro. Because I like Rashad Galden, but I just feel like, you know, throwing him into the fire or whatever, especially in a season that's kind of crucial. Because my thing is, this is a very good season for our offense. Our offense is, you know, find a way to make through and make do with it. Get a get another safety, man. Get another safety. You know, have them still play their roles, whatever. And Eric Reed would be the best one. Especially, like, I would have no problem with Sean Golden playing. But if there's Eric Reed out there and you know he's a proven commodity, why not test that commodity, man? So, Marty Herney, bro, give him a phone call. Well, that's it for me, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share this with y'all cool things like Facebook and Reddit and Instagram and wherever else. And, guys, don't forget the bell notification, man. Hit the bell icon so you never miss a video. I'll upload randomly, so definitely hit the bell icon, man. So, you, you know, when you see the squeaky lines, you know you've been notified. And, guys, in the comment section, man, how do you feel about Julius Pepper's, you know, donation? Let me know if any of you guys are going to donate. You know, get that, put that in the comment section. Also, let me know how you feel about Dante Jackson. Do you want to see the Dante Jackson and Josh Ross, John Ross matchup? Let me know in the comment section also, man. And how do you feel about the North Cersei going on IR and Marty Herney signing? Do you think it's a good thing, bad thing? I, like I said, his signing is not really panning out. Now, obviously, you can't plan for injury, but I think not even counting those injuries, there were two signings that would have been better fit for us and been smarter for us that he did not go with. And I think, you know, if we had those signings, we wouldn't be in this situation. You know what I'm saying? Check out the L Camera TV apparel, shirts, hats, mugs, all types of cool stuff. That link is in the description below. Check that out. You know what I'm saying? Support the channel. Support me. You already know what it is. Check out the Patreon page. That link is also in the description below. It's exclusive content, blooper reels, shout outs, all kinds of cool stuff, man. Check that out. Um, check out my dog Ron Steen's page. His page is at the very end of my page on the end screen. Check him out, man. Very funny dude. Talented. I think you guys really like him. Keep that trickle effect going back and forth between the channels. Y'all already know what it is, man. Share with all your Panther family, friends. You might Panther related, anybody football related, anybody Cincinnati Bengal related, anybody. Share with everybody, man. Let them know El Camera TV is rocking with Panther Nation. Panther Nation rocking with El Camera TV. Thank y'all for all the support. Thank y'all for everything I do, man. Shout out to, you know, saying everybody that's dealing with the Hurricane Florence, man. I, you, know, my, you know, I hope everything's going well. You know, I hope everything, you know, you know turns out well, man. And, uh, you know, shout out to Jewish Peppers for doing that, you know, boss move and, and giving that money, man, because it matters. It definitely matters, man. So thank y'all for everything y'all do. Thank y'all for all the support. Thank all the Carolinas. Thank everybody, the Panther fans in Florida, you know, because I'm pretty sure there's some out here with me. You feel me? Thank everybody, man. And I'll see y'all next time.